and they've lost their most experienced striker of European and international football to be replaced by Howard Gale, a 19-year-old. That's Hernis, and it's much too high. Vincent. Rather exaggerated side shuffle. Looking for Gale. Dremner coming back. Oh, I say, what's he going to give there? Well, the Liverpool supporters obviously thought they should have had something, and it did look a very, very wild challenge to me by Dremler. But Mr. Garrido, quite unconcerned. And we can look at it again. It really was not a very good challenge. And what did he get? Well, he came straight across. This is Alcantara. And the crowd anxious them to get on with it. But here's Sternberger. And he found himself a little bit of space. But Clemens had his angles all worked out. Soon it's on the ball. Johnson making a run in. And it may be that Neil will come behind. And here's McDermott. Rather screwing off his foot. Soonis gained at least half the extra distance he was looking for. Irwin is up. And Irwin again. Almost a disaster by Viner. Irwin, I don't think he realised what a good chance the first header was. He knocked it across the goal and there was nobody coming on to it. And then Viner gave him a second opportunity. And Johnson is onside. And the ball wouldn't come to him. And he's burned a real chance then, David Johnson. Somehow the ball seemed to hang in the air and it didn't run on as he hoped it would. Jungen changed his mind, was off balance. Then Johnson let it go. It was force wide and in fact it came. Del High. Rumenegger, Dremler, Hernis in the middle, Rumenegger coming away again. And here's Hernis. Well, he got plenty of power in the header, Dieter Hernis. But it cleared the crossbar without Clemens needing to touch it. Look at the goalkeeper, though, poised to move and to cover any eventuality which he did. Johnson, Kennedy is up, suddenly in space, and onside, and scores! Ray Kennedy has given Liverpool the lead. Suddenly, out of nothing, the skipper gets the goal, which changes the entire atmosphere. Johnson had pulled it across to him, and Bayern had been pressing so much, got caught out at the back, and Ray Kennedy, with the chance which he took with his right foot, to put it wide of Walter Jungens. 38 minutes of the second half gone, seven minutes of the match remaining, and the Liverpool supporters celebrate Paris before the first leg. Janssen. And here's Ruben again! And he's equalised! The ball over the defence. And Rummenigger has saved a German team that looked out of it, that looked distraught. Rummenigger's 20th goal. It got a flick off Irwin. And stuck. <laughs> On... To Janssen and will grab by Clements as we move into the last minute. What a good save that was. And of course, at 1 1, it's no wonder that Bayern are still pressing strongly because 1 1 is enough for Liverpool because they would go through on the away goal. So 
Liverpool just happy to slow it down. Checking the watches on the bench. Bob Paisley smiles, but it's not over yet. It might, in fact, be another goal. And they've done it! The away goal has counted. Embracing on the bench, Ray Kennedy's goal has been enough to take Liverpool through to the European final. The equaliser from Rummenigge seemed to have saved Bayern Munich, but on the away goal that Ray Kennedy scored, the place in the final in Paris on May the 27th belongs to Liverpool.